While the red legs are often linked to the Jayhawkers of the Bleeding Kansas period and the Civil War, they constituted a distinct guerrilla unit that exclusively engaged in combat during the Civil War. In the early stages of the war, western Missouri was overrun by guerrilla bands, and it was frequent for these unruly gangs to cross the border and carry out attacks in Kansas. To counter these invasions and support the Union effort, a group of border scouts was established in late 1862. Since it operated independently and was never formally enlisted into the United States service, there are no official records documenting their actions. The members of this company earned the moniker Red Legs due to their use of red or tan-colored leather leggings. General Thomas Ewing and James Blunt organized this clandestine Union military society for urgent duty along the border, and its membership swelled to as many as 100 men. To join the company, individuals needed to demonstrate unwavering loyalty to the Union cause, fearless courage, and adept use of the rifle or revolver. Their base of operations was located at the Six Mile House, named for its distance of six miles from Wyandotte, Kansas City, on Leavenworth Road. Joseph A. Bartles constructed this house in the winter of 1860-61, and his son Theodore, one of the most skilled pistol shots on the border, was a member of the Red Legs. Captain George H. Hoyt, the attorney who defended John Brown in Charlestown, Virginia, now West Virginia, after the Harper's Ferry attack, led the company. Among its members were Jack Harvey, brother of Fred Harvey from the Santa Fe Railroad Hotel chain, Joseph B. Swain, also known as Jeff Davis, who later became captain of Company K, 15th Kansas, Red Clark from Emporia, Kansas, whom General Ewing hailed as his best spy, John M. Dean, one of the organizers, and W. S. Tuff, who ran the horse market at the Kansas City stockyards for many years. Additional members of lesser prominence included Harry Lee, Newt Morrison, Jack Hayes, James Flood, Jerry Malcolm, and Charles Blunt, commonly referred to as One-Eyed Blunt. William W. Dennison, who later served as the Assistant Adjutant General of Kansas, was once a private in the 11th Kansas. He was part of the detail tasked with carrying out General Thomas Ewing's General Order No. 11. During that assignment, he sported the red leggings associated with the organization, which became known as a badge of desperate service in the Union Army. Generals Ewing and Blunt frequently employed several red legs and paid them up to $7 per day due to the risky services they were called upon to provide. This was the nature of the red legs, individuals unfamiliar with the concept of cowardice, who abandoned their farms and homes to protect their households from the unregulated and predatory tactics of guerrillas and bushwhackers. Following the Civil War, the majority of these individuals resumed peaceful occupations and transitioned into law-abiding citizens.